Hey guys, it's HMK, Gaming YouTube Extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm going to bring to you another Kingdom Hearts 3 video. Now, in regards to this top 5, there have been many battles and grudges that we've seen unresolved in the Kingdom Hearts series. I mean, so far we've seen Riku vs. Ansem, Cloud vs. Sephiroth, Ventus vs. Lee. <laughs> that one was a joke. But there are some fights that need to be seen in Kingdom Hearts 3 and to put some rivalries and hate to rest. And HMK has listed the top 5. So let's get into top 5 fights that we need to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. And let's start off with number 5. Kyrie vs. Uh, anything really. Now I rank this number 5 because Kyrie has to be the least combat experienced Keyblade wielder. Period. And we need to see her face off against somebody. Anybody, and to show off the power that a Princess of Heart can possess while wielding a Keyblade. Don't be another video game damsel in distress cliche again, Kyrie. I mean, we've seen that in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Come on, show your stuff. Yen said better teach her good. That gets number 5, people. <laughs> Lee versus Aiza, or Saiyax, or whatever he wants to be called these days. Now, this has been a fight in the making since 358 over 2 days. When these two former best friends finally reached a breaking point in Dream Job Distance, everyone knows that Lee and Aiza are going to have to settle their differences on the battlefield. Both characters are among fan favorites and this will surely prove to be an emotional battle, with many players choosing size just as these two warriors of Flame and Moon. I think it's high time that Lee had enough of Aiza's shit, and Aiza may be thinking the exact same thing, and that is why it gets number 4. King Mickey vs Master Xehanort Mickey definitely has his blood boiled for Master Xehanort as he fucked up the lives of three of his friends. Both are Keyblade Masters and both wield Keyblades of Darkness. This hopeful tussle will prove to be an interesting encounter that shows off the power of two Masters fighting. Mickey has stood for peace and light among the worlds, and Xehanort challenged that and disrupted it with his quest for the Keyblade. A King vs a Master. Now that is a fight I'll pay to see, and that's why it gets number 3. Sora vs Vanitas Oh yeah! Since Vanitas' shocking appearance has been revealed in Birth by Sleep and the hint of a return in Dream Job Distance, it is no secret that everyone wants to see these two cross paths and watch the sparks fly. The reaction that Sora would give is enough for an explosive encounter, and the fact that Sora's own heart attributed to Vanitas' appearance would easily pave the way for a riveting narrative. Sora has mainly used the light as a weapon, and Vanitas is pure darkness, and when these two clash, it's always awesome. Being Sora's doppelganger, Vanitas may want to destroy Sora out of a sense of being one of a kind, and to destroy all others that are like him. But Sora isn't going to give up being Kingdom Hearts main character so easily, and that is why it gets number 2. Roxas vs Xemnas This is it guys, the number 1 must see battle, Roxas vs Xemnas. Now there is a fight that has been built up and even alluded to at the opening of Dream Drop Distance. Roxas was originally on his way to face the superior in between at the end of 358 over 2 days before he was intercepted and captured by Riku. Roxas is an exceptional Keyblade wielder who is trained by the organization's finest and therefore he has much more cunning, calculating, and aggressive style than Sora. Many will argue that Roxas stands as one of the most powerful characters in the series. Xemnas was his leader and in some ways he acted as a mentor and even a father figure to the young Roxas. However, this was just a ploy to use him for his abilities to collect hearts for the organization. A return may be in store for Roxas, as Xemnas has already been restored to his former glory. Xion's dying wish was for Roxas to stop him, and though he was not able to accomplish that originally, Roxas still holds a great deal of animosity to his former boss, and it's definitely time to settle the score once and for all, and that's why Roxas vs Xemnas gets the number one spot. There you have it guys, HMK's top 5 Kingdom Hearts 3 fights. What did you think of the list? Is there a specific clash you wish to see in the upcoming game? Are there two or more combatants you want to see battle it out for glory or revenge? Leave your comments, questions, or concerns below. And don't forget to favorite, share, like, and subscribe. And until next time and until the next Kingdom Hearts 3 video or reveal, I've been HMK, stay hectic everyone, and I'll check you guys later.